take your own temperature before dealing with your kids. Hi everyone, I'm BJ Muir from JesusHelpMeParent.com and I coach families just like yours to use a heart-based approach to parenting. So if you want practical parenting solutions that develop real and lasting heart change in your kids and family, click that subscribe button right now. Over the course of the last few months, I've been talking a lot in my YouTube videos about helping children with anger and other big emotions. If that sounds like something that you might find helpful for your family, make sure to head over there after you finish listening to this tip and check out the other videos I have and even get a free downloadable that'll help you with this issue. It's got lots of great strategies and tools in it that all come from a heart-based approach. One of the things that I teach families I'm coaching is that anger is not bad. Anger is simply an emotion that tells us there's a problem. I often use the analogy of a smoke detector and how it's great at telling us that there's a problem when it's beeping, but we would be foolish to think that we could use it to put the fire out. We're smart enough to realize that throwing the smoke detector at the fire doesn't work. We need other tools to put fires out, like hoses and water and firemen and firewomen. Something else I tell families, though, is that anger is also a forward-propelling emotion. Anger has lots of energy inside of it, and so when our child feels angry, it can take everything within her or him to manage that emotion, get calm, and have a better response that involves using other tools instead of anger. But here's the thing. If anger is an emotion that tells us when something's wrong, and if anger is also a forward-propelling emotion, then we parents are in as much danger of misusing anger as our kids when they do something wrong. As much as we're trying to help our children manage their emotions, including big ones like anger, we too as their parents need to manage our anger as well. When we see something our child is doing wrong, we need to make it a habit to pause, take a deep breath, calm down, and respond rather than react. When we react instead of responding, we blow it as parents. And usually five or ten minutes afterwards, we realize it when we calm down. And then we feel horrible, and we feel like a failure, and we wonder how Jesus could ever use a parent like us. So instead, commit to taking your own temperature before dealing with your kid's disrespect, disobedience, or other misbehaviors. It's important that you find a routine, a strategy, or a response that allows you to slow down the emotions going on in family life at that moment so you can calm down and respond the way Jesus wants you to. This isn't going to be easy. You most likely will not find your personal calming strategy or strategies overnight, and even when you do find them, you're still going to blow it at some point. We all do. Do not let that deter you, though. Philippians 3, verses 12 to 14. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yes, I'm sure Paul wasn't talking about us struggling with anger when our kids do something wrong, but I'm also pretty sure he wouldn't mind if we applied his words this way today. So press on towards the prize, my friends. Want to learn more about how to do this? Check out my latest videos on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Also, remember to follow Jesus Help Me Parent on Facebook and Instagram for daily parenting tips, strategies, and inspiration on how to use a heart-based approach to parenting so you can see lasting change in your kids and family. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.